Sam, I see every year during summer you visit to check our air conditioning. Lisa, it is the part of my job as a builder to check same. In fact, your residents pay for it. Sam, can you elaborate how air conditioning works? Lisa, I have come to check air conditioning, but not for my interview. I hardly have time for my interview. I am serious, I want answers please as you are the right person to answer this. Oh my goodness, I never came prepared for this at all. Maybe some other day. No, no, Sam, you cannot avoid, please answer. I want to learn. Please ask your questions relevant to subject. How air conditioning works and what are its implications on humans? How many air conditioning units in the world? Lisa should be around 2 billion worldwide with United States and China being leading users. Oh really? Yes and appropriately 20% of energy is used for air conditioning, fans and ventilators worldwide. And in India since the country is witnessing heat wave residential air conditioner market is expected to touch 14 million units this year. Oh seems everyone needs air conditioning now. Lisa we have different types of air conditioning. Central air conditioning, windows air conditioning units and Nini split air conditioning. Central air conditioning cools entire homes, while less windows and splits are sufficient for single rooms only based on sizes. Seems you forgot to tell how they cool the rooms. Air conditioners employ same operating principles as our home refrigerator does. Refrigerator use electric energy to transfer heat from the cool interiors of a refrigerator to warm surroundings of our homes. Similarly, air conditioner uses energy to transfer header from interiors of your home to warm environment outside. Oh, I see. Can you elaborate further, please? An air conditioner cools your home with a cold indoor coil called the evaporator. The condenser, a hot outdoor coil, releases the collected heat outside. The evaporator and condenser coils are serpentine tubing surrounded by aluminum fins. This tubing is usually made of copper. Oh, I see. The compressor moves a heat transfer fluid also known as refrigerant between the evaporator and the condenser. The compressor forces the refrigerant through the circuit of tubing and fins in the coil. So the liquid refrigerant evaporates in the indoor coil, pulling heat out of the indoor air and cooling our homes. The hot refrigerant gas is pumped outdoors into the condenser where it reverts back to a liquid, giving up its heat to the outside air flowing over the condenser's metal tubing and fins. Oh, very extensively briefed. What about the quality of air? Windows air conditioning and split air conditioning don't have a high quality filter so they contribute little beyond temperature regulations. But as far as central air conditioning is concerned it provides valuable filtration, are able to catch particulate matter like dust, pet dender, mold as well as smog efficiently. Where do we stand? You are in a better position as you have a central air conditioning, but that doesn't mean windows and split air conditioning is not appropriate. Higher quality filters can even help removing virus. If you have central air conditioning ensure to run the fans for 20 minutes on hourly basis as air only passes through the filters when the fan is actively running. Oh I see so do you change filters quite often? Filters are very important so dirty filters can be bad for your health especially by harboring bacteria or other diseases mainly allergies. By not cleaning and changing filters you may be destroying the system. If air can no longer get through this filter it backs up into the system and it freezes up. You will simply notice your air conditioning not working properly. You may change the filters based on its life. Further cleaning filters based on your air conditioning requirements. Can we run air conditioning 24 hours? Should not be an issue for centralized air conditioning if maintained properly. An average lifespan of air conditioning is approximately 15 years or so. For window air conditioning it is recommended not to use constantly for more than 8 hours or based of manufacturing company. Using for longer time can reduce efficiency. What about some people getting sick? Sickness may be due to dirty system or lack of ventilation. What about an ideal temperatures? During summer ideal temperature is between 22 to 26 degrees centigrade. It is good for comfortable living. Further temperatures may be based on local factors also. In winter room temperatures should be around 18 to 20 degrees to keep your room warm. Thanks Sam for all the information. Now last. What about environmental effects by using air conditioning? Although we enjoy cooling, but it is a major contributor to global warming. 
Globally 20% of energy is used for cooling. Globally air condition contributes around 1950 million tons of carbon dioxide annually which is around 4% of global greenhouse gas emissions. What to do? I think I should do my job now. And this is the last answer from me. Oh thanks answer the last. Planting trees and preserving the existing at the same time cools the urban environment by shading streets as well as buildings. It also enhances evaporative cooling and reduce air temperatures through transpiration. A single tree on a sunny day can transpire hundreds of liters of water equalizing two domestic air conditioning running for 24 hours. If a good investment is done for straight trees it will easily reduce 1 degrees to 2 degrees centigrade in your city. You may match the temperatures in woods as well as congested areas. You get the answer. Oh thanks what world needs to do? I already answered but let me conclude. The nature-based solutions are already identified by relevant stakeholders. The solutions need to be well understood and leveraged to enhance implementation. We must bring about change at global level to keep global temperatures well below 2 degrees centigrade. Thank and bye bye.